My name is Taylor Brecky, and I'm a senior member of Alpha Phi. It is my honor to introduce our next speaker, who will share a personal story about how heart health has impacted our family. My lovely mother, Tanya Carr. On April 7th, 2007, our four-year-old daughter, Naja, passed away from a heart condition called myocarditis. When I went to tuck her in that night into bed, she still just didn't feel good. She didn't have a fever or anything, but just didn't feel good. She woke up at about, I think it was probably around 1.30. And Naja says, Mama, I just don't feel very good. I said, okay, honey, let's just lay you back down. We prayed, she asked me to pray with her. We prayed, and she went back to sleep. I went back to bed, kind of checked on all the children, went back to bed. At about 4.20, I could hear her voice again. And she was in her bathroom, and she was standing, and she was kind of looking at herself in the mirror, and I could tell she was a little dazed, you know, it was 4.20 in the morning. And I knelt down to her, and I said, are you okay? And she says, Mommy, my legs really, really hurt. I go to grab Tylenol, and I bent down next to her, and I had the Tylenol in my hand, and when she went to grab the Tylenol from me, I noticed that her, her hands weren't right. They were really kind of cramped, and she took it and threw it in her mouth, and she took two bites, and then she collapsed on me. I ran through our household, called 911. A minute and 32 seconds, a police officer was there. And at that point, a police officer said, I need you to come with me. And I thought, this is pretty serious. The doctor kept looking at me and I thought to myself, why does he keep looking over here? And all of a sudden I started to kind of realize she's probably not coming back and he didn't know how to tell me. So when they finally decided that they couldn't resuscitate her, um, I remember my neighbor was sitting here, my sister was here, my brother-in-law, and I remember thinking, how does this even happen? Like, in a matter of minutes, how does this happen? I was 12. I was, yeah, I was 12. I was in sixth grade. Um, I mean, like, I ended up going into a room. My parents were sitting in there, and, like, that was when I knew. Like, they weren't in my sister's room. They were, like, in one of those, like, family, like, breakout rooms, and that's when I knew. And I'll never forget, my dad, like, said, Naja, I went to go be with the Lord today. And just, like, instant tears. Like, like, I don't even know if there's words to describe that kind of pain. Just looking around the room and seeing, like, my grandparents, my parents' friends, my pa like just everyone just in such pain and sorrow. And as like a 12 year old, like I didn't even know how to comprehend that. I just sat there and just kind of like looked. And it's like, okay. I remember thinking to myself like, these are the people that like hold me up and like they're broken right now. Like how do I fix like my mom, my dad, <laughs> my grandparents? Like that was just like the hardest feeling. And that definitely lasted a while. I think red dress is what made me fall in love with Alpha Phi. When Tanya was talking about their whole story, I think that, I mean, that hit every single person in that room um, about how important this cause is and how important the fundraising is to go because their story isn't something that should happen to anybody. Um, and it's gonna keep happening, which is terrible, but we're doing something about it. I think that was really, really special to me. Like I think that helped me want to be in Greek life knowing that there was things like that. Because prior to that all I had seen was like formals and like the fun stuff which is also like a big part of it but then being able to see like the meaningful like wow all these girls put this on and this is awesome and also this is something I'm super passionate myself so that was really what stuck with me off of fee wise going through recruitment like that next fall. So we had a discussion about like what Greek life is and you know the pros and cons of it and um, when she was going through kind of trying to figure out what was the best fit for her sealing the deal was figuring out that this sorority had such a passion for heart health that it just that was the piece where she finally went all right that this is what I want to do and this is where I want to be and these are the people that I think um, I can really contribute to doing something bigger outside myself. I think that was the last piece she needed where, where she knew that that's where she belonged. 
initially I was really surprised at how big it was. Like going into it, I was like, okay, like Greek philanthropy, like mm, we'll see what this is about. Like we'll probably like be there for a little bit. It's like not a big deal. But one, it was like huge. There's a ton of people. Like I, I think I just remember feeling like really not over, like overwhelmed in a good way. Like walking in, just being like, whoa. Absolutely no idea what I was getting myself into. What was about to happen? You hear these stories of how amazing it is, how amazing Karen, our live auctioneer, is. So it's, I think for just the young women to have that opportunity to go, I don't know if we can put this on, and then all of a sudden in the end go, wow, we just did all that. The growth in that will then carry over to different projects they're going to have in their careers or um, you know, not even just challenges in their careers, but challenges in their personal life, what it's going to be to, to manage being possibly a mom and then trying to have a career and all these things that you can kind of step outside your comfort zone and say, you know what, internally I'm a little worried that I might not be able to do this, but then when it happens you're like, heck yeah, <laughs> I just did this and I'm rocking a red dress. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> so I just think, I'm like, they'll just, these girls will carry this on and then they're gonna, you know, tell their kids, wow, I, you know, we did this whole event and hopefully their kids will, you know, be able to be a part of something as special as that too. I hope that people will continue to support the Red Dress Gala and the AFI women because it affects families like us. We were healed knowing that our daughter was given an opportunity to do something great through her tragedy. Um, I think it's important for AFI to know that even though they might not know exactly who, who feels that they've been changed because of this event, that there are lots of people that are changed. So I would just like to say thank you for this opportunity to share our story and that I am forever grateful for this sorority and what you've done for our family. Thank you.